my beautiful friends I'm back <laughs> and I think the microphone is working well first and foremost I must tell you that I appreciate you all so much I want to thank you so much for being for me here the other day I did not expect to um, break down like that on camera but I am a what you see what you get sort of girl and I don't know as soon as you guys started being nice to me I just <laughs> I just broke down but good news is I got my results today and, and, and everything is fine like you all told me but you know when you have anxiety someone can tell you something but it just doesn't penetrate your head so um, he said to me your blood tests were all perfect we are ready to go on Tuesday Oh, um, he did say that when he did saw my tummy scan that he saw I did have a um, oh, what did he call it uh, muscle he's got a repair of muscle like a muscle repair but he said that's that sort of happens when people have been overweight and then lose a lot of weight there's a muscle repair that needs happening he said it's not very big he said but I'll do that while you're under and I said okay but he said to me no as far as your bloods everything's good oh I can I tell you how many times I thanked God and I will always thank God for my blessings always and I will thank him for bringing you beautiful people into my life um, you guys have just got beautiful hearts you you really do you were just so there for me it was like I knew you forever that's how you treated me and I, I just want to say I really appreciate that all right my friends so enough of me now um, let's uh, go into I haven't been on Alexandra's I've had a really busy day today I haven't been on Alexandra's Instagram or anything so I've seen nothing I don't even know if she's uploaded a new one but what I want to do to give back to you guys is do a really long video for you because I know you like the long one so I'm gonna do one now all right my friends here we go exciting announcement. Being able to talk to you guys on the new live podcast that I've been doing every Monday night here on my YouTube channel and be able to talk to you guys on the phone and connect with you has really inspired me to want to do this. Oh, I'm like actually nervous. I'm, oh, I'm so excited and so nervous. Now I have to say, I don't know what this is about. I have watched it again in the past. I will say that in all my videos. Sorry if I repeat myself, but I have watched it in the past, but this is, um, let me see how old it is. It's four years, three, three years old. I don't remember what she's about to announce here, so we'll um, watch it together. Look how much better her, f her hair looks there. Nervous. You guys have been there for me through so much. This whole learning to be fearless name, I had no idea how much it was going to impact my life and how much that little phrase would really mean to me and to us as a community. Talking to you guys and giving you advice and learning about, you know, fearless moments or fearless challenges that you've been facing are so inspiring. And if you guys didn't know, I do the fearless series here on my channel where I do things outside of my comfort zone, document the experience, and we are learning to be fearless in that series. But I think it's time to take that series to the next level. Coming out this late summer is going to be a new series on my channel called Fearless Together. I'm going to be flying around the U.S. meeting you guys and facing your fearless moment together. And that's why... What the fuck? Did she ever end up doing this? Because I don't remember it. I'm putting out this video now because production is going to be starting over the next couple of months and I need to find you guys. We production like she's doing a movie. We need to be fearless together. This can be any fearless... I have to also say, I popped a little funny... um. I literally just got back from TK Maxx. We don't have TJ Maxx here, but we've got TK Maxx. And I was in the candle section, and I, I like the look of the outside of this beautiful candle. And then I read it, and it said fertility candle. <laughs> and I just laughed. And I took a photo, and I put it in my um, community tab. So if you want to have a look, have a look at there. This moment, it can be from something small to something big, you know, those ideas are different for everyone, but whatever that fearless thing is that you've been wanting to do, wanting to try, but you just need a little, a little push and a little support from me, I am going to experience that moment with you side by side. And we're going to get through it together. We're going to document the whole experience. For our first season, we are going to be launching four episodes and for a month, there'll be one episode per week. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be such an- Cause I really don't think she did this cause I've been through most of her. 
her YouTube looking at the videos and I didn't see anything like this. Adventure, but I have to find you guys. So if right now you're watching this and you're like, oh my God, like I'd be perfect for this. Like I have this moment in my head that I'd love to have Alex by my side with me. Let's say you've always wanted to like try scuba diving, but you're terrified. I'm gonna scuba dive with you. Maybe you've always wanted to like cut your hair a certain way, but you're just a little too nervous. Like I'll be there with you. Any moment that is in your head that you've just been feeling in your heart, submit your story. I'm gonna put a little survey link down below where you guys can enter. There will definitely be some rules and regulations. You do need to be in the US 18 or older um, and comfortable on camera and comfortable with me documenting this experience for my YouTube channel. I really want to give back to you guys. You guys have given me so much con- Yeah, you really wanna give back to them. And that's why you told them that if they have any infertility stuff that they should talk about it amongst themselves in the comments. <laughs> That's how much you love them and you want to be there for them. Confidence, like putting out those Fearless Series videos and just like taking you guys along on the ups and downs of my life and having so much support from you has been the most magical experience ever. And I just want to give that back to you guys. I want to go through these moments with you and help you grow, continue to grow my and make money on my channel. Self, continue to learn to be fearless. I think this is going to be such a fun little docu-series on my channel um, and I'm so excited to get started. So I hope that you guys can think of um, something that you'd want to experience with me to have our fearless together moment. I'll be taking submissions for the next week or two. Don't remember this at all. Just don't remember it. I think it's going to be really incredible and I'm so excited to take you guys along on this journey. Mm, that's weird. I don't remember anything of this. Alright, that's that one. That was a short one, sorry. Oh, this one! This one, guys. Now, for, for the new people who may be here, I don't know. I might have some new ones because some people say to me, oh, look, we've just found you and this, this, and that, and we don't know why you dislike her so much. Okay, so this is one reason, too. This is another reason, not just one. She... I didn't realise when Yaman posted, when Yaman posted, when Yaman proposed to her, that she really did fucking hand him the ring. And you can actually see it. People were saying she handed him the ring, she handed him the ring. And I was like, oh God, now I think people are reaching. That's what I thought. But then I watched it again. And in slow motion, I watched it. You can see the part. Oh, I'm going to, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have, um, let me put it on normal for now because she's going to introduce herself, I think, and say that he proposed to her. You can actually see his arm around her and taking the ring off her and then he looks at the box in his hand and then he goes down. So have a, have a look. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Hi, guys. She's so fucking fat. As if you'd say to your husband, no, you didn't. Oh, sorry. As if you'd say to the guys proposing to you, no, you didn't. It's not the first thing you'd say. You'd say, oh, my God. So I, what, what I, I actually think happened, I think he proposed to her without the camera rolling. And she was like, you should have got this on camera. Let's do it again. Let, let's just do it again and let everyone see it. That's what I think happened. That's why she passed him the ring. That's what I think happened. I don't know, guys. I have no other... I've, I've got no other explanation for this. That's the only thing I think could have happened is that he said to her, okay, so he went and put it somewhere and made out like he was, you know, getting it ready. And it, it just looks really fake. When you watch it back and you know what happened... It just looks really, really fake, especially with her, you know, oh my golly, oh my gee, when he proposes to her. But you can actually see her pass him the ring. So I do think that he was going to propose to her, but I think that he did propose to her, but the camera wasn't on and she wanted to do it on camera and said, why didn't you film it? Blah, blah, blah. Let's do it again. Let's just reenact it and let's make out that you, you, you know, you proposed to me on camera. All right, have, have a watch. <laughs> So I am currently in the process of packing. I am leaving in about an hour to go and surprise Cabby in Disney World. But I had to just like throw up this video because everyone has been asking for more information. Oh, about this. Oh my God, how annoying is she? It's like she thinks she's the first one who ever got engaged. Seriously, it's just... It's just annoying how she does it. She doesn't know how to be humble about anything. Guys, my heart is over the moon. I'm so happy. 
this is just like a little update video slash I want to share the story of how over the week she oh, sorry I've got a cough lolly in my mouth I'll just take it out she's so overjoyed and happy that he proposed to her that she now has a man and she's going to get married she's ecstatic and she cannot believe it nothing wrong with that but she does it for different she does she's doing she's happy for a the wrong reason she just wanted to get married because she thought she was going to be left on the shelf again i got engaged before i get into that yes so like i said i'm going down to disney world one of my best friends gabby is down there in the disney college program and i'm going to go down there and surprise her with a couple of our other friends who are already going and she knows they're going but she doesn't know that i'm coming to and like surprising her it is going to be so so much fun but like i am still packing because <laughs> we just got back from newport yesterday newport rhode island is where yara and i just went on a little mini getaway and i did not know he was gonna propose to me there we just wanted like a little weekend away we had gone away which i believe i believe but like i said it was all reenacted to new york for work the week before and we just wanted some time for us so if you guys didn't know i've had this amazing boyfriend now fiance oh fuck off for we're coming up on a year since we started talking before we went out on a date and it's so crazy because you know i've gotten a few comments like oh my god it's so soon but i have never felt the feeling of like when you know you know before i've never felt that and like i have never been so sure of something in my life and i'm so excited that we are now going to spend the rest of our lives together and he did get it on film he tricked me you liar 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 pants on fire you can physically see her. And she denied this till she was blue in the face. Oh, in one video, she said, oh, come on. I mean, people were saying that I handed him the ring. Oh, my God. And you can see it. I don't understand how she's denying it because you can actually see it. So I will insert that later on. Um, but I'm just going to tell you guys the story of how it happened because I'm getting so so many questions about it so on one of the days uh we went on the cliff walk in newport so the cliff walk is super beautiful i'd never done it before and it's like along the ocean next to all the mansions in newport newport Rhode island has like really famous old mansions that are like so 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 popular and we went on that walk and he really wanted to do it around sunset and i was like interesting it was like it'll make amazing photos cute little vlog footage i'm like oh you're right that would be really cute and cool because he's like super thoughtful with like getting cool content for you guys which i love that about him um he's very thoughtful so like that's all that i thought it was so we walked probably like a month i do believe that maybe he wanted to do it during sunset but i still don't believe that he filmed it sorry i, I don't believe that he originally had filmed this mile and a half down the cliff walk and like the sun was perfectly setting behind this mansion and he was like this is like the perfect time like let's set up the vlog camera and just like get some cute footage of us like walking around for b-roll like we can take some cute pictures <laughs> and he set up the camera and like we were just doing like you'll see it in a second we were just doing some cute little poses and like he was being really lovey-dovey the whole just walk like, he was just kept saying like that i mean the world to him and like just saying the sweetest, sweetest things. And like, he always does, but I, there was something, like, extra special about it. I had no idea. I had no idea. So, like, then he kind of turns me around towards... Just a reminder about how much I hate these earrings. It's, like, the ocean part, and he's, like, holding me from behind. I don't know. I'll just... <laughs> he was trying to hold you from behind. He totally tricked me. I'll let you guys see it. Here you go. All right, hang on. Run again, run again, run again. Crash into my arms. Tell me I'm yours. Okay. Hang on. No more. Let's do it in this speed. Oops, sorry. jump up there if you could tell. Alright, he's hugging her. She's doing something. Do you see her hand? She gave it to him. He's looking at it. After she gave it to him. Let's watch it again. I'm going to slow it down even more. 
if that's possible. Oh, it is. Okay. You can see she's doing already something with her hand. She's she had her hand in her pocket. Now she's got it out. There was a jump cut. She's got it in her hand. See her right arm? She's given it to him. Now she's given. Now she's given it to him. You can you can actually see. Look at that. And then he looks at it because he didn't get that out of his pocket. And now she fakes it. Now she fakes the rest of it. No, you didn't. No, sorry. Um. You, to me, it would have been more of a shock. I was more of a shock with the way my husband proposed to me. I didn't expect it. And when you don't, you can really tell when someone is flabbergasted and overwhelmed and shocked. She wasn't shocked. No, you didn't! Because she already had it done. You did not. You did not. No, you went in shock. You're a liar and you're a very bad actress. You tricked me. Yes, I, yes I'll marry you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Bye -bye. No. <laughs> she would have said to him, that would have made perfect content. Why didn't you film it? And he probably said, oh, let's do it again and make it that we, you know, I've just proposed to you. You can actually see her give him the ring. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's awful. That hug is just... Awkward. He, it's just awkward. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm shaking. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. And that's, that's all for period. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck he he got it on camera! <laughs> yeah! Isn't that amazing how he got it on camera, you oh my god! Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh my god! She said yes, folks! She said yes! Yeah! I think I helped! So as you can tell, I was like in total shock. I was like, what the heck? Like No, I can't tell you in total shock. I think you faked the whole thing. <laughs> It doesn't look like you're in total shock. That wasn't the first time he did it. It was a reenactment. What? Like, we've been talking about marriage a lot. Honestly, we knew, like, I know it sounds crazy. We I, I can't listen to her talk about this. I just can't. We knew a few months into like, when we were meant to forever with this guy. Like, we, like, the easiest yes I've ever said in my life. Of course I don't you know. said yes. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. I can't stop looking at the ring. It is the prettiest... It's and so many people have asked her about that ring and asked her if it's a real diamond or if it's one of those faux diamonds or not a faux diamond. I don't know what they call them. You know, those things that are meant to be closer to a diamond and even better than a diamond or something like that, but doesn't cost as much as a diamond. She has never, ever addressed anyone's questions when they've asked her about it. I really like the most beautiful ring in the world. It no, it's not. Sorry. It's not. It's um, like a solitaire cushion cut ring. Oh, it's so pretty. But seriously, I am just so happy. <laughs> I just wanted to come on here and share this because I'm going to be... I mean, good luck to her that she was happy. and It was lovely that he did it there. But she's so full of shit. I hate the fact that she... Like, she literally was arguing with people on her page saying, how can you even think that I would do such a thing? How could you think that I would hand in the ring? People were actually saying that I handed him the ring. You can see you handing him the ring. Gone for the next few days. I will be surprising Gab and putting it in the vlog up on Sunday. You guys will see a little bit more of our... Of course, she wants to go rub it in Gabby's face. Engagement weekend. So this vlog coming up on Sunday will be pretty popping. So, I don't know, hit the bell or something. But I just wanted to come on here and share that I am engaged to the love of my life. I'm over the moon happy. I cannot wait to start wedding planning with you guys um, and just really enjoy this time. I could cry. <laughs> it's an emotional time. 
it's an emotional time because um it was really it was really dark Ooh, the last um the year before last i guess and um even though it was really hard there was light at the end of the tunnel and whatever you're going through like you're gonna get through oh god no i can't listen to her giving us advice you're gonna get through it and you're gonna you're gonna do this and you're gonna do that that's all <laughs> all right enough of this liar fucking liar uh i got engaged i went to disney what to surprise gabby okay so I don't know how you pronounce it. We're gonna go to this cute cafe for lunch as well. Of course you are. <laughs> of course you are. This is three years ago. Yes, it's just it's just um, when she went to see Gabby. Well, so let's go. We just had lunch and Yarman's in heaven. <laughs> this is my Sephora. This has got good tasting cars. Nothing better than a, the classic cars. To tell you, my friends, it feels so good being back on here. I missed you guys so much. This is your Sephora. I miss doing these for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we like hit a corner and like work our way? I kind of want to make my way to the corner. Okay. So, if you guys didn't know, Yarmin is obsessed with cars. Big car guy. Big Porsche guy. Oh, Nicki Minaj has a song about this. <laughs> oh, I like that. This is my favorite. It's so cool. Our little buddy is racing. Hi, guys. It's Leader. It's Leader. <laughs> it's later. It's later. <laughs> what, was, what was the last vlog? At the car place. We just got massages in our room. Which was an interesting experience. They came and like set it up in our room. <laughs> you know, the downstairs area is kind of small, but they made it work. I was did, impressed. Did you listen to the Louis Capaldi? Yeah! Uh, I, I, I wanted like, to say something. <laughs> I was like, I know this song. Yeah, I was. So, we'll take you guys along. You can be romantic with us. Yeah, yeah. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Majestic here. I don't even know if you guys can see it. It's just beautiful. This is Bellevue Avenue in Newport. This is where all the mansions are. Somewhere. Oh, there's one. Wow. We've never been there. Wow. Jesus, that looks haunted. <laughs> looks like it's from a movie. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. We have to go to all of them. Go to all of them. Yeah. We've only been to the Rose Cliff, and I've been to the Breakers and the Boulders. I've been to the Breakers too. Yeah. <laughs> is that the most famous one? Car Museum was saying that. The Breakers is like the one that's known, but she likes the Rose Swift better. Okay. I'm going to start the cliff walk. Oh, should I bring my hat? You should bring your hat. Okay. Your SD card is about to get full. Oh, this is a typical thing with you. <laughs> yeah. Now? It's all those 40. I think she looks nice the way she's dressed here, apart from the Sherpa jacket. Apart from the Sherpa coat you can't see much of it so it's not irritating me as much I minute mean, vlogs you're doing for the people true i'm trying to make the vlogs long for you guys yeah, yeah. except the one i just did wasn't that long all right let's let's switch out the nightmare card and continue this okay. all right Fake proposal. Are you kidding me? I'm excited to spend life with you. I'm so excited to spend life with you, Baba. Oh my god. What? I don't know what to do with myself. I guess we should walk. <laughs> oh, guys, what? I'm shaking. I'm still in shock. I'm blacked out. It hasn't hit me yet. Me neither. Oh. I bent the knee. I love you, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're out to dinner now, celebrating. Yar got chicken and potato. I got fish and chips. I bet it'll be really fresh by the ocean. Um, we're both celebrating, having some drinks. And I can't stop looking at my ring. It doesn't feel real. We're both, like, totally in shock. Ugh, fiance. Good morning. As our first morning as an engaged couple. Whoop, whoop. God, she, can't, she can't stop showing it off. She's not humble at all. That's the the police. Whoop, whoop. So I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> Every time he walks in the room, I either have like, <laughs> either like taking a pic. Now some might say she's um, 
extremely happy and she just got engaged why are you picking on it there is a way to do things <laughs> there's a way around things you can be happy and ecstatic yeah but you can also be humble at the same time you just shove that ring in people's faces picture what are you doing I'm putting the heat on it's freezing again a cold. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Living with a thick bitch for the rest of your life. <laughs> this is forever. Hey, yeah, you're not wrong. Ever, ever. Oh, oh, that thing shines. <laughs> it shines. It's really the sparkliest ring in the world. Yeah, I like it. It looks good on you. Thank you. I love it. We didn't show you guys breakfast the last couple days. Do we have the room key? We keep saying we're gonna show you guys breakfast and we don't, so today we have to because we're done after this. Also guys, so we're in Newport um, and <clears throat> he proposed by the mansions on the cliff walk, which you guys will see in the video. I'm gonna put that back up earlier on Tuesday, so when you guys are watching this, the like, proposal video will be up. But um, we just found out, well last night we found out that there is um, a wedding expo today <laughs> at the mansions, so we're gonna go, just for fun. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll take you guys along. That's going to be really fun. Like, why not? Why not? No street in in Newport. Amazing. It's good value. What? It's good value. Good value. Wait till you guys see the breakfast. It's free, too. And then they have, like, hors d'oeuvres and stuff in the afternoon. Check out this breakfast. It's so good. You can make, like, a parfait. Mm. sausages in the morning i think it's disgusting but i don't know it's just me these juices fresh squeeze over and look at over here they have like a whole beverage bar you can make a hot chocolate with all this stuff and look at all the tea that's cold <laughs> and then lemon water my favorite i think that's pretty cold coffee babe do you like iced coffee they have no yeah but the prize is this fresh squeezed orange juice. It's insanely good. Let's eat. Okay guys, so we had breakfast, got ready, packed up, and now we're gonna swing by the um, wedding expo before we go home at the Rosecliff Mansion. We love the mansion, so this is kind of like fate that we get to go. I'm excited. Like, why it's not? Like, Let's start like the, planning! It's like Woo! the perfect weekend, right? It's the perfect weekend. It's the perfect weekend. Your boy. Your boy hooked it up. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't listened yet, I tell them. Why haven't I got that you put out the first up? episode oh, of your podcast? Yeah, go ahead. No, you put out the first episode of this podcast. Fat Podcast Live on all platforms, Spotify, Fat Apple Podcasts, Google. Yeah, PH. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to take you guys to the wedding expo. <laughs> Woo! What a, what a whirlwind. I'm, I'm still waking up. I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's popping, guys. Look how freaking beautiful this mansion is. Maybe we should get married here. Maybe. <laughs> Hi. Hi. There's a live, a live statue. It's like a whole thing, y'all. Woo! Oh my god, this is so overwhelming. Small. It's too small to have something like that, I reckon, in there. Too many people in such a small venue. Okay, we just took the trolley to the second location at the ocean cliff now. The first one is... Hi, how are you? What's going on? Oh, go ahead. Um, the first one is really hectic. So I didn't film that much. It's a lot to plan. I'm gonna come check back out. I'm sweating, this is intense. So, you know... What are your thoughts? It was packed. Mm -hmm. It was filled to the brim with people. I mean, it was interesting. It just really goes to show like there's a lot of planning to do. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I love him so much. I'm not going to want to wait for us to have our wedding super far away. Of so, course not. <laughs> who knows when we'll start planning. But anyway, mind. it was interesting. It was really, really, really. I don't want to give him time to change his mind. Really full, a lot of, a lot of anxiety. In there to be honest but it was an interesting experience so now we can say we've been to a, a wedding next she felt a lot of anxiety in there <laughs> so, will we go to more probably not did i love the rosecliff mansion and want to get married there yeah so stay tuned <laughs> all right guys so because we've been gone and i leave tomorrow 
Um, I love HelloFresh. It just makes my life so, so easy because we didn't have groceries. So we've been traveling. So I'm going to go ahead and make us these for lunch. These are so good. I've made these before. So oh, around 30 minutes because you just skip a fearless 10 to get 10 free meals and free shipping from Newport yesterday and I'm still riding on the high wave of engagement but today's gonna be so much fun because we are going to surprise one of my best friends Gabby oh, down in, good, I thought I missed it. in Florida so she when did she leave she left months ago I haven't seen her in months I miss her so much she's one of my bestest friends and she's doing the Disney college program and our other friends, Chrissy and Alexis, are going down to visit her, and I'm surprising her <laughs> and going with them. She has no idea I'm coming. It's going to be a huge surprise. I can't wait to see the look on her face. We talk all the time. We both miss each other so much, so I told her we were going to be coming. Me and Yara are probably down in, like, April, but it's like, ha, huh, psych, I'm coming now. <sighs> I'm so excited. Like, <gasps> This girl's got a hard life, hasn't she, guys? From one vacation to one another vacation to another vacation. Yara surprised me. Now I get to surprise Gabby. So, I'm all packed. I picked up... Some snacks. I've never tried these. Of course you have. Find bark dark chocolate and roasted peanuts mm. for the plane. They look good. I have everything packed. I'm wearing this really comfy torrid romper and then this long cardigan from Tar How long is the plane flight that she needs a freaking snack on there? Target. Super nice, easy plane outfit. And I'm just bringing this away luggage and then I'm packing up my um, coach backpack. I like to wear backpacks when I'm on vacation. Mm. And yesterday, I finally got myself an iPad because I use Yarmans like every day, so I got mm. myself one. Um, I got the gold, like a white case, so I'm so excited to watch more of Love is Blind on the plane. If you guys haven't started watching Love is Blind yet, I heard I heard it's gonna get rough. So it's been a long day of travel. I've been doing a TikTok, so I haven't vlogged. We're in Florida, and we're gonna record for you. She can't breathe. Action. I'm nervous. <laughs> we're gonna our friend just went out to see if she's there, and then we're gonna go out. And I should probably get my phone out. <laughs> <laughs> Exhilarating. <laughs> All right. She said, "Are you outside?" Maybe I should get on the phone with Chrissy. Okay. You ready to go? No, I'm, so <laughs> I'm blocking her. <laughs> Let's go. You should go first, and I'll film from behind. Yep, she's right there. Ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a huge vlog moment. They miss you a lot. She's back! Hi everyone! Do you have any updates for them? <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. She's right back at it, It's been, it's been time. Hi, I want Lex and Tissy are here. Updating the vlog. Okay. Wow. Life? Yeah. Gab, what is this place called again? <laughs> Chicken, 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 um, your meal. It's called Trails End at Fort Wilderness. Trails End at Fort Wilderness. Camp Road. Camp Road. Highly recommended. Look at this. <laughs> Guys, look at this. It's a um, little <laughs> s'mores tartlet. Hey, this cupcake looks so good. Ooh. 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 It's like Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it, was, it was a buffet. <laughs> it's so much food. We're so full. <laughs> we also have the eat. So that's why I'm like <laughs> getting full fast. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good buffet. <laughs> So we're now at Walmart. It's like 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's like 10 o'clock at night. And Gabby. Get lost. Please return to the castle. And Lex is getting this hat. So cute. Oh god, I hate Disney stuff. I hate it with a passion. On Monday night, so it's very interesting. Good morning. Oh my god, look at your ears. These are Gabby's ears. They're so cute. Let's follow my outfit better. Wait. Oh, I'm not wearing the Little Mermaid. Yay. Oh, Chrissy's ears are my favorite. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They're so much. <laughs> They're Donald's feet. Chrissy. So that must be their friend. She's probably the oldest friend I've seen. I thought that was Gabby's mom. So oh. Gabby stayed in my Not room with me because I had an extra bed, which is super but, fun. It's like the well, old days when she used to stay in my apartment. So we're going to be hitting Epcot today. We're going to be at Epcot all day. Um, will you show them my outfit of the day? Yes, I will. Thank you. We're I'm holding it a weird way. Like I'm just keeping it super simple. Who did it meet? With my uh, Adidas Yeezy. The what the fuck? How is that? Something that you want to show us, an outfit of the day. That little fucking knot down there that is so ugly. Those pants are ugly. And what is so special about that top? How is that an outfit of the day? How is that something to be proud of? Power Fabletics, Power Hold. This is not sponsored right now. Fabletics, like, no joke. These are the Power um, Holds. She had to mention Fabletics, that's why. 
They're not moving. Like they're staying in place. Ooh, I need a pair um, though. Victoria top, you do. Like they don't move. Mm -hmm. Um, they have zippers too, which is gonna be neat. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> I'm My oversized Soho sunglasses. Oversized. Oh, she's so talking about the sunglasses. <laughs> I'm just gonna say the top. Oh, my, my engagement ring. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Seriously, get stuffed. I'm gonna get an engaged pin at Disney. I'm so excited. Yay. And I'm having some Coke Zero energy. Let's do this. Yay, we're here. We're going on test track first. Gabby and I didn't get to do it last time because it was closed because of the rain. Alexis is excited. <laughs> thrive, 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 thrive. <laughs> Look, I have a pin that says reuniting with Gabby and an engaged pin. It's, it works now. Baboon ass lips. We're designing our car for test track. Select your vehicle type. Okay. They're cute. All signs right there, so much. One love and I breathe. I love all of these. These are so cool. Me and Yarmin again. Like very tempted. There's <laughs> so much, so much marriage. Do they have cocoa stuff? Cause he loves cocoa. I got him some cocoa merch for the fiance. That's like a whole. What oh would you? Oh my god! How annoying for the fiance. How much do you think this is? Like four margaritas? Literally. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm obsessed with. So cool. Gabby is just sitting in the kiddie pool by herself. It's one feet tall. <laughs> so funny. It's nice and sunny. Let's build a. Oh my god. Those fucking fingers. Kitty pool at my house. No neck. Look at that. That is Peter Griffin all over. Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. Be fun. <laughs> okay. I mean, I already have a child. It's you. Okay, guys. So we have now come to the end of the vlog. I'm back home. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I think it's pretty good. Like we got to see the engagement. We got to oh go. My God, do you remember, guys, how many times she kept flashing it in front of the camera? Oh, fuck, that made me sick. And surprised Gabby and Disney. Her reaction was priceless. She was really happy and it was really hard to leave. Um, if you want to watch like the whole process, I put it on my TikTok. But it was so much fun. And like this vlog has the engagement, the Disney, like it's a pretty good vlog, I think. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, let me know in the comments. And um thank you. And if you didn't, don't write it in the comments because she doesn't want to hear it. Guys, for all the support on the engagement, um, I'm over the moon, happy, like my heart's exploding. I'm planning the wedding, like already, because we're so in love and we're just like ready. <laughs> oh, fuck off, we're so in love, and I'm so ready. But um, stay tuned to subscribe on my channel if you guys want to see all the upcoming. Next, when's the wedding? So let's address the elephant in the room. This is not the yeah. Let's address the elephant in the room, all right? I'm not, I'm not talking about the wedding. wins the wedding so let's address the elephant in the room this is not the first time i've been engaged what style dress are you envisioning for the big day not everyone is good at dating a plus size person the engagement story and the proposal i'll link that below if you guys want to watch it but i asked you on instagram to send me in all your how ugly is that i mean you know what i think of animal print anyway but how ugly is that how ugly is it? She looks delusionally crazy there. Your questions, you guys wrote in so much. We got some juicy stuff to talk about. So I thought I would do my makeup and just do a big chit chat. Get ready with me, I'm pulling up the questions now. So I'm excited to play with this new makeup, answer these questions, I have them right in front of me. I already have on my sunscreen moisturizer from Supergoop and let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start off with my primer. I'm gonna use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More just to stay nice and matte. I have a long day ahead of me today. And I do love that that super goop, I've been using the Glotion or Glow Screen, Glow Screen. And I do love that it gives me like a glow in my moisturizer and sunscreen, but like, I'm an oily girl. So I like to do a velvet matte, matte velvet pants. And like the, the question I'm getting the most, 
color's pretty good. It's no, a little it's, pale, but it's not good. It's not. You look like Marcel Marceau again. It's ridiculously pale. I'd rather have it be too pale than too dark. But like, I am pale. I'm a pale girl. Oh yeah, but then again, she does bronze it up with her 15 tons of bronzer. With a red face. It'd be like that. Okay, so I know this might sound crazy, and I don't care if I get judged for it, but Yarmin and I knew we were the person for each other and like soulmates a couple of months into dating. <laughs> and it might sound nuts, but we started talking about getting married a couple of months into dating. All right, you're very, number one, you're very ignorant in thinking that, I mean, we already know that, but she's very ignorant in thinking that a soulmate is just a husband. A soulmate is not just a husband. A soulmate is someone, I mean, you know what the word soulmate means, but a soulmate could be anyone. It could be your best friend, it could be male, female, could you, it could be your sister, it could be anyone. It doesn't have to be your life partner. That's not what a soulmate means. It doesn't have to be your right part, your life partner. Because we just knew. We just felt it in our hearts. And I've never felt that before. Like, I'm a very cautious person. I, like, overthink a lot of things. But, like, this was the first thing in my life that I didn't overthink at all. And, like, I just knew. Like, I can feel in my heart that God made us for each other. And he feels the same way. And I've got a lot of comments where people are like, you know, I met my husband and we got married a couple months after dating. And, like, we've been together 20 years and that's so special. Like, when you know, you know. And a lot of people ask, like, how do you know someone's the one? Like, you really just know. And I haven't felt that before. Like, I have no hesitation with Yarmin. I know he's the love of my life and I know we are supposed to be life partners. Oh my god, this is so funny. <laughs> you guys can believe in this or not. But, like, I, back when I went, I said some fair and I saw the psychic there. I don't normally, like, see psychics or anything, but I think it's cool. Like, it was there and I was like, why not? And it was back when Yarmin and I kind of, like, first started dating. Maybe when we, like, first became official. Oh, the coverage on this is crazy good. Don't worry, we're gonna bronze up. Don't worry, it'll come together. And that's on so coverage. Good. And it, God, it was crazy. Um, it was like an older woman. I don't think she knew who I was. She hit the nail on the head. I totally, you don't have to believe this, I know. Everyone has their own opinions, but I totally believe that some people have that gift for sure. I'm sure a lot of people don't and like they say they do, but like some people definitely have that gift. And this woman was like, look, you've had bad luck in relationships. <laughs> She's like, but just know that's over. The person you're with now is your person. And like, you're gonna be together forever. And I'm like, I felt that in my heart. She's right, like she's right, he's my person. We have the same glasses prescription. We can share glasses in context like that. That's crazy, that's crazy. And oh we both- Oh my God, I remember guys, when she thought it was just so overwhelming for her and she loved that they shared the same prescription. <laughs> I've been through really similar things. I'm gonna throw in some of this uh, Clinique Moisture Surge Lip Hydro Plump Treatment. This is new. Ooh. And he and I opened up really fast about like some of our dark things and we trust each other and it's just like a really equal partnership. But back to that question, <laughs> um, we're not going to wait very long to have our wedding. We'll probably have our wedding later this year. Um, we're starting to look into it and plan and we're ready to move on to that chapter. Nothing has ever felt more right. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I just bought this at Target last night. It's the Elf and I guess it's really popular. So, whoa, big doe foot. That's big. <laughs> so um, this might be like a super light shade, but I didn't have <laughs> a ton of options. I really wanted to try it for you guys. So definitely stay tuned because <laughs> we actually are starting to- She wanted to try for us. Not she wanted to try it because she wanted to try it. We plan. Um, we have some dates in mind, venues in mind, and you can totally judge me if you want and say it's so quick. Like, we want to. It's our relationship. We're so we will judge you. So happy. Um, and we don't want to wait. You know, Yars in the military, so there are factors to that that we are taking um, an account of <laughs> for our future and for- I think COVID shafted her big time. We're planning our life and our wedding, so that's a part of it behind the scenes. This concealer is beautiful. Beautiful. You guys are like, you need to get an army wife shirt. I do. <laughs> you know I would. You know I would. Okay, this concealer is beautiful. It has like the prettiest natural finish. Trust me, I know my face looks way too light, but it's gonna get better. <laughs> um, I really love the combination of these two things. That foundation dried down. It looks like actually matte. And my under eyes look so pretty. I'm just gonna, it's like a nice medium to full coverage as well. Like, I feel like I actually cover it in my bags. I'm gonna bake it with a little air spun. And I hope that it, like, stays kind of satiny and doesn't, like, get too dry, because I feel like maybe it's my powder that's making my under eyes dry lately. But if I don't bake, I get, like, a terrible crease. Like, so, we are deciding if we want to do bridal parties or not, because it's gonna be a pretty small wedding. We actually, neither of us have, like, Sometimes she got married and she had many friends left. Huge families. Like it's probably going to be around 100 people at the most. But I'll definitely keep you guys posted as all this goes on. Are you guys planning on staying in the house y'all are at? Will it be your forever home? No, it will not be our forever home. We have talked about this. We definitely want to stay here for like at least a few years and probably have our first child here because um, we have that one extra bedroom for like a kid's room. But we'll probably be moving at some point. What are the details of your ring? So it is a solitaire cushion cut. It has little diamonds around the band. Um, it's really sparkly and <laughs> really pretty. I don't stop staring at it. It's actually like painful. I'm like, you did good, babe. A lot of people ask if we're having a bigger, small wedding. It's gonna be pretty small. Are you guys getting married this year? 
Most likely, yes. <laughs> Where will you go dress shopping? I don't know. I've actually been looking into that. I'm just sending my face a little translucent powder. This foundation, stunting my growth. Beautiful. Like, so beautiful. And my under eyes do not look crusty busty. What does that mean? Stunting my growth. This foundation is stunting my growth. For fuck's sake. So... I'm excited. I'm excited. I think this looks good. Let me know. What do you think? Um, so I've been looking into places to dress shop and I found a few places that have like a huge plus size selection because I want to go somewhere inclusive, somewhere that's not just like a little corner of plus size. I want to go somewhere with like a big plus size selection. So I'll, I'll be taking you guys along for sure. I definitely can't show you the dress when I get it, but I'll show you all the other ones I don't try on or that I do try on and don't pick. <laughs> Did Mama Fearless know all along or anyone? He was in cahoots with my mom, but she didn't want full details because she wanted to be kind of surprised. So I have a new bronzer to try. It's the Maybelline City Bronzer. Bronzer is nice. Oh, okay. We're gonna blend it. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. What time of year do you see yourself getting married? Um, so because we most likely want to get married this year, um, I'm thinking maybe fall. Oh I love fall. God. Look at that bronzer. My God, talk about heavy handed. Oh, it's my favorite season. It would be definitely like kind of crunchy <laughs> in terms of time, but uh, I think we could do it. And we're looking into it now. Does anyone do the makeup like this? It's so like she's stuck her head in the mud. But I think a fall wedding would be really beautiful. I forgot about my Scott Barnes brush. I love this brush. This is the 65 contour brush. So, so good. Honeymoon destinations. We already started talking about all this because we're just we're excited to get married. Um, we're thinking either Europe or Hawaii. Contour that nose. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> COVID hit. I want to see dress shopping videos and you will definitely see those. Let's give this a good blend since it's a little dark for me. But ultimately, I don't think it looks bad. It's a nice bronzer. It's a nice uh, texture. Looks like she's bruised on the forehead. Did you guys talk about marriage before the proposal? Yes, we did. We've been talking about wanting to get married for a long time. Like I said, we've known for a while that we want to get married, but I didn't think you would do it um, right away. Why didn't you wait? What was the rush? Well, in all honesty, we've been dating almost a year. Uh, we started talking last April and it's March. So honestly, I don't think we're rushing because when you know, you genuinely know. Like I can't wait. <laughs> I know he's my life partner. Uh, and I'm sure. I'm very sure. It doesn't feel rushed at all. It's funny. Like it just feels normal. What did he say when he asked? I'm going to try out this cream blush from Maybelline Cheek Heat, Sheer Gel Cream Blush in the shade, what is this called? Coral Ember, that like I'm his whole world and I mean the world to him and like, he's like, you know how much you mean to me, right? Like it was so freaking cute. He was just being extra sweet. But like, he's always like that though. Like he is so verbal, which is great because my love language is um, words of affirmation. And like, we just tell each other all the time, like how much we love each other and how much we mean to each other. And we both really need that in a partner. And we've never really had that before. Anyone else feel like vomiting? <laughs> So it was really good for us. Pretty blush. It's very soft. It's not like, ah, oh, pigment. Too much. Did he get your mom's approval? He did. He got it a long time ago. Um, because my mom sees the spark we have and she loves Yarman. And like, our families both have huge open arms for each other. This is so beautiful. And it goes on pretty on top of powder. Like, it's so cute. I like that it's so... So what was the point of her putting that bronzer underneath? I, I just don't get it. She does it all the time. Puts bronzer, then covers it up with something else. Then covers it up with this. Here, it's not like overwhelming. And it feels very hydrating. I'm just putting it on with like a damp beauty sponge. Did he know to pick that ring? So we had talked about styles of rings that I liked, that we both liked um, for a while. That we both liked? He doesn't have to like it. You have to like it. You're the one wearing it, you fucking idiot. And he kind of knew my style and different things I liked, but he picked the ring. So let's address the elephant in the room. Both liked. <laughs> you wouldn't give a shit. It's on your finger, you moron. <laughs> this is not the first time I've been engaged. I'm going to throw a little bit of um, powder blush on top just to kind of set it. Be extra. Rosie. Yarman knows I've been engaged before. There you go. A different, and another one. That's the that's the fourth um, application on the cheeks. And it was public, which was hard. You know, um, that breakup was hard publicly, especially being engaged before. <laughs> Hello. But ultimately, I could never just like compare engagements. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's right, um, especially publicly to compare relationships. Um, but I think everything happens for a reason. I think life is hard and confusing and like shit happens. I wish nothing but the best for people in my past. And um, I'm just really happy in my... I shouldn't even say his name relationship and ultimately this was just the way life took course you know i think whatever's meant to happen is going to happen and like this was just the way everything was supposed to play out for me personally and ultimately i'm really happy and it's been a hard journey um to go through everything but like i said everything happens for a reason and things come together in time a lot of questions asked about that and i'm just not comfortable you know going into details about my past relationships or past engagement life um because that's just it's personal it's private like I you're on youtube you made all of that personal uh, sorry, you made all of that public as soon as you opened your fat mouth and said to told everyone that you got engaged. As soon as you said that, you made that public. Get it for sure that you guys have those questions, but um, all I can say is that I'm because it doesn't suit you, you don't want to talk about it. I'm really happy, and you know, things are different. Are you going to buy a second dress for the reception? Yes. <laughs> It's so funny, like, I used to only want one dress. I used to really actually think about a lot of things a certain way. Like, and being engaged to Yara for some reason has, like, 
made me think about things differently i don't know why like i did not think i would want two dresses and like all of a sudden i want two dresses so like I don't know. Are you having bachelor and bachelorette parties? Yes. Am I taking his last name? Yes. I think Alexandra Rodriguez is like the actual hottest name. <laughs> I'm gonna throw in some Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow in Soft Open. You guys probably gonna be like, yo, it looks really bad. <laughs> Every time I think it looks good, you guys are like, no. <laughs> Oops. I don't know. I think my, my skin looks like really pretty good. I like the that foundation hell? a lot. It's guys like my henna tattoo from Disney? Who is gonna walk you down the aisle? Um, what the fuck is that eyebrow? Probably my mom, obviously, right? I am a, these products are really good. This is a good makeup day. Will you be doing the bouquet toss and other sort of traditional wedding stuff? Is she actually leaving it like that? Oh, definitely. I'm like such a little tradition loving gal. Love this product. It goes on so nicely. It's like the perfect texture. It's like there's nothing oh, worse than like a brow pomade that's like that. hard to work with or like too gooey or too hard. Like, this looks great. I love that it's drugstore. I have to carve out the bottom. Um, oh my gosh, she is leaving it like that. That looks ridiculous. Um, what will be your color scheme? That's a great question. I'm thinking it's just going to be um, a lot of white some gold and a lot of like greenery. It's gonna be pretty neutral because like that's who we both are as people, like not just me, but Yara and I both like very neutral colors and neutral spaces. And like that just feels like the most right for us based on what we've talked about so far. What style dress are you envisioning for the big day? That's so hard. Like it's so weird because I've always pictured myself in a certain kind of dress, like kind of like an A-line, you know, or cinch at the waist and then flow out situation. Oh, these brows look really good. I'm gonna throw on a little. Which brows are we talking about? Are we looking at the same ones? eyelid primer like i could never really see myself wearing like a super poofy princess dress like that's just not my style but i'm gonna be pretty open when i try dresses on because like I, I think you just never really know unless you try it on and like can confirm i want to be open-minded will you have a cocktail hour before your reception yes i would think so no, doesn't like everyone so i also have from maybelline the brow fast sculpt bright pink look so i'm gonna start off with the shade my hair up or down with a veil what will your colors be i'm gonna take tanacon which is like the perfect crease shade um, I don't know. I kind of like the, it's weird. Okay, like everything's changing now that I'm like engaged and thinking about things. Like I've always pictured wearing my hair up just cause A, I'm like a hot ass bitch, but also like I don't want to be hot that day and the dress is probably gonna be super heavy. Um, so I was thinking about wearing my hair up with like some loose tendrils down and like kind of a veil in the back situation. But like lately, cause of course, you know, I've been on Pinterest. Um, I've been really loving the look of like that side part and like the really vintage glam moment with like one side is like swooped and then like tucked behind the ear with like a thing. I think that's like super glamorous and beautiful. I'm gonna take diet root beer as well and just throw that in the outer corner. I'm just doing like an everyday kind of look. Guys, I can't get over how much I love this foundation and concealer run. So I bought the MAC for the support and love we've gotten so far. Knowing that like so many of you really see the true, true love we have is so special, especially in such a short time. Like you guys can see. Well, there was something there for a minute, but it's gone. <sighs> the, the love that we have for each other, a brow highlighter. And that means a lot like this. The support really does mean the world. So thank you guys for that and all the well wishes so far. It's meant so much. And like to see so many comments from you guys where you're like, your love reminds me so much of our love. And like, I have a really similar story to you. It's just, it's really nice. And if you're out there dating and you're unsure, like I really do think like when you know, you know, and there should be no doubt. And that's why this is like the first time I've ever felt this before. Cause it's the first time I've had no doubts. I do have some new mascara to try. The CoverGirl exhibitionist on all the planning tips I can give you. So does that mean she had doubts when she said yes to Ellen? Why, why would you say yes if you had doubts? thoughtful little INFJ nugget you'll ever meet in your life. We're both INFJs as well. And I think that's one of the reasons our relationship has been really successful. Um, if you don't know your personality type, you should totally take a peep. It's really fun. It's the Myers-Briggs personality test. Um, he actually didn't know his on our first date. And like, I was catching such a vibe. Oh, fuck off. I have to do a personality test. From him on our first date. And he texted me after and was like, oh my God, I'm an INFJ. Like, how did you know? And I'm just like, I can tell. Like, <laughs> you're just like a really thoughtful person. And I feel like I can open up to you quickly. And that's just like major INFJ energy. And like we're both INFJs and I think two INFJs in a relationship is really special because you're both very mindful of each other. I'm just going to throw on some Kiss number 11 lashes, some of my favorites. And this might sound really weird, but like I'm the first plus size girl that Yara has ever dated and like he's going to marry me. And like not everyone is good at dating a plus size person. And I know that probably sounds really weird, but it's just like the truth. Um, he's really just like considerate, but not in like a degrading way. Like he never makes me feel bad about anything, but he's always very mindful of like how I feel. And like oh, he's just perfect. Like he's just perfect for me. What is Yara's ring gonna look like? Um, he definitely wants something like really strong since he is in the military and he works out a lot. Um, and like probably something like dark, like a dark- What the fuck does it have to do with anything? He wants something strong. No, I thought he was gonna get it made out of fucking jelly. Or gray or something or black, which I think is really cool. Were you completely surprised? Yeah. Are you gonna book the same venue you booked for your last engagement? No. I'm gonna pop my lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on. You might see a little bit of white glue still showing, still drying a little bit, but those are like my favorite lashes. So we're gonna finish off with this Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink Lip in the shade Seductress. Super pretty. I've never tried this before, but first I'm gonna throw on a little. Mm -hmm. 
I love the blush too. I love, oh my god, I love all that. I'm gonna link it all down below for you guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video slash Q&A. Vomit. <laughs> Next one. Oh, she's annoying me already in this one. Three years ago. Weekly vlog, first Valentine's Day fail. What the hell? Why isn't there volume on it? Hang on. That's bizarre. Hang on, guys. I don't understand why there's no volume on this. Hang on, let me try another one. Do you get mad or jealous that so many girls now follow you? Yeah, there's no volume on this one. That's weird. I wonder if there's any comments that says there's no volume. That's bizarre. Alright, not meant to watch that one. Can you floss? <laughs> Vermont. Oh, another getaway. I've never seen anyone get away so much in my life. Weekly vlog, Vermont getaway, going blonder and huge target haul, three years ago. Going up to Vermont for the weekend. It's like a three and a half hour drive, but Vermont is so beautiful this time of year and we just need a little weekend away. So we're gonna have a little weekend getaway. Shout out from a hard life, gosh. She needs a weekend away from her weekend away from before that. Anyway, we're all packed and just finishing up some last minute stuff and we're gonna hit the road. I am so excited. I'm wearing this top that I got from Dolls Kill. It's so cute. Yes. <laughs> All right, we made it four hours later because we stopped for dinner as well. Of course you did. But we're staying at the Stowflake. I love that name. So it's like Snowflake with a T. So cute because we're in Stowe, Vermont. Um, and oh my God, like it's just so cozy here. It's 9.30. Oh my god, it's so cute. Should we park out front and like check in first? Oh my god. That, that, from the outside it looks beautiful. From the inside it just reminds me of an old couple's place. I okay. mean, and, and, you know, older generation, I meant. Okay, so we're in a totally different part now. I'm about to check into our room. It's so cozy. So cozy. Oh. Look at this spa, guys. It has a waterfall. The receptionist told us about the spas and how there's like different soaking tubs. Oh my god, it's dark, but there's a fireplace. Guys, this is so nice. This is so lovely. I'm obsessed. No. I don't think so it's cute. nice at all. I think it's very depressing, to be honest with you. Now you know, guys, I'm 100% honest. If I liked it, I'd say I like it. If I hate I'm it, so I hate excited it. they have a freaking... Yeah, that's, that's so cool. It's depressing. Oh, wow. That reminds me of my old apartment. I had a fireplace like this, a gas one, and it gets hot too. And then... And it gets hot too. Did you know a fireplace got hot? I'm just letting you know in case you guys didn't know. Outside, you can see... The lights of the patio or the courtyard. This is so cozy. I'm obsessed with it here. We just got here. This is lovely. We made it. That was a long ride, huh? I'm tired. I know. I'm tired. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Look at your girl. Just chilling. Welcome to my crib. What the fuck? She was probably testing it to see if she could actually get in there. Hi. This bathroom is ginormous, and I'm going to be staying in here. Yeah, she did. She wanted to see if she fitted in it. For the rest of our trip. This bathroom is ginormous. Look That's at the mirror. I love it. This is a good bathroom. Ooh. That bathroom is not ginormous. I don't know what she's talking about. 
Oh, God. Oh, one thing I noticed, it has two things. That's why I love oh, it. Shit. Uh, or his and his and hers and hers. Whatever. I love that the bathroom is separate. The toilet. The toilet. I love that it's separate. I'm really content. We need this bathtub in our house. I need a fat-friendly bathtub. <gasps> no. No, no, but no, no, no. <laughs> You got up real quick. I've never seen you move so fast. You get up there quick. I said, <laughs> even he's shocked. Stop. <laughs> I said. <laughs> you guys know that TikTok. I love you. Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> Alex is happy. Yeah, I'm You had like no energy to write up here. That card sucks. And then all of a sudden it's coming out now. Yeah. What are we going to do now? I don't know. I'm tired, but I'm a grandpa. So can you floss? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've never seen your floss. You've never seen me floss? No. Go. Of I can floss. <laughs> there goes her faucet. Kiss my boo boo. Uh, okay. There's a lot of. Have a heat lamp. What's a heat lamp? That's a heat lamp. So like when you get out of the shower. Oh, it radiates like, energy. Or it radiates heat. heat. <laughs> I'm living for this little sink. It's so cute. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. You knew I was gonna do that. Yep. Like you get all ready, and then you're just like, okay, ready. Good morning. <laughs> you're on to me. Um, you make a face. I have a face. My mom makes fun of me too. She goes, hi guys. Your her, her face was absolutely ginormous here. It's, it's me, your boy. So we just got a tour of the hotel and it's pretty amazing. So, so many amen amenities. Uh, amen amen <laughs> amenities. No, like they go. have a whole sports club and it's like very fitness, yoga, like wellness like, vibes. Nice. The sanctuary. I can't wait to show them the sanctuary. Uh, yep. It. Yep. They have a, a men's and a women's one Sorry. and then a co-ed with like a soaking bath waterfall. Oh my, my mind is blown. So, if you guys want to see the hotel, here's a quick little tour. So, now we're gonna get some breakfast. It's nothing spectacular, guys. I think outside of it is quite lovely, but inside is very, very morbid and depressing, in my opinion. And then hit up hungry. the spa. I'm starving. Because we had a light dinner last night on the road. So now I'm just like hungry. So let's go get some breakfast. Oh, he loves his chocolate chip. Okay, it is spa time. All right. It's spa time. Breakfast was fire. I got new stuff from Conesso. All I get is mad cute. I'm ready to show you guys these healing waters. Heal me. Heal me. I had biscuits and gravy for breakfast. I don't think we're going right now. We're definitely not. What the fuck was that? She sounds like a pony. Okay, it is spa time. All right. It's spa time. Breakfast was fire. I got new stuff from Corona, so all I only get is mad cute. I'm ready to show you guys these healing waters. Heal me. Heal me. I had biscuits and gravy for breakfast. <laughs> what is that? What? You fucking horse? I don't know. I'm insulting the horse. We're definitely not. It's like this way. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's down here. <laughs> We're good at this. Look at the mountainous views. Look at this mountain of man. <laughs> is that weird to say? Oh my god, it is just so ugly. I'm sorry guys if anyone likes it, but oh my god, it's horrendous. It's really depressing. That's probably the nice. Oh my god, I thought it was outside. It's probably the nicest part. Just that. But the view is lovely. That's nice, but. Oh, I just got on my booty. I got my whole back. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I'm never leaving. No, we're gonna be here all day. Yep. We have plans, but no, they're canceled. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of spitting snow. Spitting snow? That's a thing people say. Spitting snow. Yeah, like it's just like a light dust. Like it's spitting. <laughs> like spitting snow. Like just tiny little. Whoa. Why is it drizzling? That's rain. Okay. <laughs> so, 
we spent most of our morning and early afternoon at the spa, just like relaxing, as you guys saw. I didn't realize how comfortable the spa was. Like that warm water, I could like just be in there for days. And... I've never been to a spa like that. That was no. incredible. This is like a vacation destination, and they have like a shuttle where you can go ski. Look at the mountains. Yeah. yeah. You want to go the mountains? I'd pay to see that. I would pay to see her ski. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I can look at them. I'm like, ah, oh, the mountains. And I'm like, no, I'll show you guys when we're driving around. Um, what was I going to say? Ooh, and at the spa, there's like windows all around so you can look out at the mountains while you relax. Like, I'm kind of sleepy. It's that good. I'm, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> we're definitely dragging a little bit because like, we're so calm. We're so excited to like see what's going to Yeah. But like, I'm tired. Yeah, we're going to sleep good tonight. <laughs> so we're going to go check out a couple like little shops that are recommended and we'll take you guys along. Okay, we just got Main Street in Stowe. It is absolutely so cute. Oh, there's the Shaw's General Store. These are there's like a bunch of little stores here we can ponder through. Yeah, we should walk around. Yeah, let's do it. I love how they still have their Christmas decor up. Like it's so it looks just so cozy with like the lights. Oh, Here's another country store. Oh, is that a park? Is that a park? Beautiful architecture. Beautiful, beautiful shops. Right here. Yeah, right here. Beautiful. You certainly didn't. <laughs> She's still got that music. Can tell? <laughs> Bitch, I am the secret ingredient. Guys, Yara and I have been smelling these soaps. <laughs> We're obsessed with the soaps. We're obsessed with the soap. They're all like so pretty. Oh my god. Like, how can you not? <laughs> right? That's a good one. That's a good one. Wait, Bob, we're so dumb. We already smelled them all on that side because <laughs> they're the same ones, so we just smell them all again. <laughs> this one smells like winter. Did you smell this one? Smells like Jack Frost. Yep. This one's good. Past curfew. Whew. This one's been around for like an hour. Now we're gonna go grab dinner at the hotel at this. Ho <laughs> grab dinner at the restaurant at this hotel. Um, it's called Charlie B's. The breakfast there was so bomb. So, oh my god, we picked this up at one of the little shops. It's an Oreo Rice Krispie treat. We're gonna share that for dessert. And I also picked up this. It's the Phone Grip Love Handle. Super cute. Low profile, effortless grip. And it's got a little cheetah print. Because, like, I love having a pop socket, but I don't. Cheetah print. I hate cheetah print. I don't like to have it on because I can't use my wireless charger, like just the charging pad. So this supposedly, y'all, yeah. Yeah. we're starving. Let's go. Uh -huh. You got a room key. We're starving or you're starving? Uh, I think so. Cool. Christmas lights. Do you want to show them how cute it is in here? It's so cute in here. I love it. So I'm going to put this on. My cute little cheetah print love handle. I love it. It's called love handle. It feels good. So I'm trying to figure out where I want it. All right. I'm just going to go for it. I was like, take your time. Guys, we just made the funniest TikTok. If you're not following me on TikTok, please do. It's basically like our TikTok. Most of it's like stuff of us together. Thank you. Okay. Should be easy to get. The good thing is I have this apple to reference. Yeah. Oh, shit. That looks pretty centered. I did it. I committed. I'm going to hold it down. I don't see how this is wireless charger compatible. Well, I guess we'll find out in the room because I brought my wireless charger. Okay. Your mom gave me for okay. Christmas. Does that look pretty straight? Yeah, it looks good. Straight enough? Yeah. Right. Oh, I like it. Tape. This is freaking high plus. She can't do anything properly. I love it. It's, I like it. Yeah. It's better than a pop socket because I love a pop socket, y'all, but like it's too bulky. Oh, it's reviewing tag. I like this. Yeah, pop sockets are just like too bulky for me, so I love this because like this I can slide into my pocket and it won't feel. Oh, it's a little crooked. It doesn't bother me. What's the name of the company again? Love you. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Twenty it's minutes on time. Fine pop Tell them about your running. It's hard. So I found this path that I thought was paved. It's like the Stowe recreational path. And I said, great, it's a paved run. It's kind of snowy out here, but it was a paved run that I can take this path through. And like a half mile down the path, it was all snow. So I ran seven miles. <laughs> in snow? In snow. That's hard. You tough. It was annoying. You just His feet. Deserve a big breakfast. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Pop go eat. Pop go eat. <laughs> we're gonna go get breakfast. And then we're heading home. This was so relaxing. Last night we were just hanging out in the room and had so much fun just like, 
being goofy. You need to do yeah. it. It was so relaxing to leave her a home where she's got, you know, the children crying and laundry to do. and <laughs> So it's, it's very relaxing going on a holiday from a holiday, from another holiday. Yeah. A goofy night. Yeah. Follow us on like, TikTok. <laughs> we have fun. Sure. I'll link down below. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go have breakfast. Hungry. Me too. Hungry. We hungry. It's almost 11. Okay, so breakfast was delicious again. We are going to hit the road and head home. And yeah, we'll see you there. This was awesome. Welcome back to Alex's kitchen. You know the first time I've had bulgogi? What that? is bulgogi? It's Korean beef, I think. That's like beef and bop? Yes. Yeah, someone could correct us in the comments. It's probably not. Really but no, no, it's not beef. Is she putting her finger in her mouth? It's like, it's like beef, but like it's a style of beef that I was introduced to when I was in Korea. Cool. And um, the first time I had it, when you walk into a Burger King, they have like beef bulgogi burgers. Ah, because they're catering like their menu to the yeah, um, yep. local. Is market. the bulgogi like a sauce or a style of beef? I think it's a sauce. Okay. I think. I don't know. I think it's. It Korean. seems. It seems like it's yeah. a style. It's a. It's a Korean dish. Oh, bulgogi sauce. Okay, so it, it has it here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So like maybe we can compare and you can see if it tastes similar to the one you had in Korea. That was insulting. Really good. This sounds. Yeah. It is really. Hello Fresh baby. Yes. That's sweet. sweet sausage turtle. We did not cook as good as I cook now until I learned Hello Fresh like a couple years ago. And, sure. Like... Sure. And you still can't cook like you still cook like shit. Hello Fresh. <laughs> Are you gonna eat an orange is the most mom hooked on a vegetable? Here's the situation. We have our ribbons of cucumber right now and we're gonna cook so for that and get that bulb on. So if I'm it will be a cold day in hell before I take any advice cooking advice from her. Oh Hello Fresh that I love is I love that they heard I just did and free meals. Time to plate. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Should I expect less? Nah. Nah. That was good. Right? We're gonna eat together, but I just wanted to like do this on camera. Yeah, sure. It looks really good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Presentation looks dope. Thank you. I'm trying to get a full bite. Yeah. Love that. So I'm expecting a sweet slash tangy. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> You're so cute. Every time, hello fresh to Ten free meals and free shipping. We don't really care about the Super Bowl more. I just made banana bread for the first time ever, so I thought we would try it on camera. It's been cooling, I think it's ready to go. So one of you guys actually sent me a DM and told me how to make it like with applesauce. They said it's more. Thank you so much for the recipe. I've never made banana bread. I don't know what to expect. It's really good. Really? Yeah. I, I like the middle, that's just me. I hate bananas. I would never eat that bread. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last time I ate a banana. I know they're good for you, but I think the last time I ate a banana was about five years old. Oh, just the smell. Oof. And if anyone eats one around me, I, I, just, I feel like I want to regurgitate. So if you like the end, that's a good sign. Whoever made that suggestion. So I would never eat. You rock. Thumbs up. You rock. Are you recording now? What is she I am recording now. Wow. Oh, she's warm inside. I hate myself. Alex. I Alex, Alex, you think you're going to have to take that checkbox when you upload that YouTube. <laughs> this is not for kids. Oh. Yep. No, she's so warm. Did you touch? Please just touch her. Just, I, you, I have mine. But mine is warm. Here. Ooh. Oh, I hate you. Oh. Oh, morning. God, hang on. Yep. yep. The recipe that girl sent me. Wait, wait. I'm gonna. Where is it here? <laughs> this is for Tara from Country Shade Tree. Because <laughs> I know how much she loves you. You rock. Shout out to you, girlfriend. Hey, girl. Appreciate you. Oh my god. There you go, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Tara. I am so boring. Yeah. Alright. Back to Superbook commercials. Yeah. She's doing a dancing. Good morning. Day. Happy dancing with about food. Monday. I have been running errands all morning. <laughs> all morning. Um, so first what this morning. Oh my god, my brain is not working. I went to the psychiatrist. Uh, I met my friend Alexis and we grabbed breakfast. I haven't seen her in a while. And now I'm all the way to Rhode Island. She pretty much stopped seeing psychiatrists when she married him. And I've been all over. I was near Boston. The last week's vlog, or is it not very exciting? Just like a lot of running around. What are you doing? So today is now Tuesday. 
Tuesday. And I am heading to the hair salon. I'm so excited. I haven't gotten my hair done in quite a while though. Well, the last time I did, we were just doing kind of like a touch up where we kind of like just tone and like refresh. But like today we are doing the full shebang and I am so ready to like go brighter, launder. I feel like every time I just love to like refresh and go super blonde. And it's kind of, it's just like with the water where I live, it naturally kind of darkens my hair. Cause now it kind of feels like, I don't know, to me it looks like a dirty blonde, but usually when I leave the salon, it's like a bright, almost platinum blonde. So whenever I get to go and do like the full shebang with the hair and like the full redo, it brings me back to like that, the dark totally root. Chill. So I'm hoping we can kind of keep the rooted look, maybe like an inch of root. Um, so it's kind of blended. Cause like when it's like all blonde and then it grows out, like I love the way it looks when it's a little bit. This is called roots much. Or no. So I'm sweet to do this really quick and you don't want to take off length, but you want it to be more movable and just like more movable you want it to be more movable or body and flow because it can get really heavy and weighted and like just kind of feel you know what i mean when you have just like a lot of hair and it just feels like ugh. so apparently this cut like they go into your hair and like you keep the length but it gives it like a lot of lift and body and movement and lightens up the thickness and the weight of the hair so that sounds great i was like when i heard about that i'm like yes sign me up please so we're gonna go back to our girl over at Lux salon oh my god i love her so much heather is just the best we have the best chats um everyone in that salon is amazing so, so if you're in massachusetts you go definitely back check why don't you go back now out. it's just like a really happy environment like it's got really good vibes so we're gonna be going there hanging out with heather getting our hair done and yeah it's gonna be a good day a good day and then i have to come home and get some work done i actually think she has had a falling out with um heather or someone here because she's waiting way too long to go and get her hair done again and she knows that everyone's been picking on her color because it was not done correctly so i personally think she's looking for another hairdresser and she can't seem to find one yet that she is confident to go to maybe because she's never we all know how much she loves doing her hair she's never left it this long don't agree with this this is one thing I hate this is something that I feel is just laziness on their behalf everyone does hair differently I might do my sections one way someone might do their sections another way I might do them a little bit finer other person might do them a little bit thicker you are not going to have an even color all the way around when two people do your foils and I'm not saying either of them are wrong or one of them is wrong, one of them is right. It's just the way it is. Everyone's different. We all do things differently. I hate it when I see two people doing foils on one person's head. It shouldn't even have to be like that. I don't understand why you would do it like that. If you're good enough and you're competent enough and you're quick enough, it should take you about an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes to put a full head of foils in. You shouldn't need two people. You just don't get that, you know, you don't get the proper result when you section the hair and you look at it properly. It might be just a hairdresser's thing, I don't know, but, I, you know, section the hair and you look at it. There's different, when you weave out the hair for foils, you can do them fine, you can do them thicker, you can do them medium. It, it's two different people. You're not going to get the same effect on the same size. It's always going to be uneven. So Heather's husband brought in munchkins and I'm literally just holding them and we're eating them while she foils. She said I'm literally holding them and you're eating them. <laughs> we needed some nourishment. It's a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair. My hair. Heather and I have had so much fun today guys. Um, we had a lot of laughs but my hair looks so good. We went super bright. She gave me a little bit of a smudged root so it grows out super nice. I love this girl. Please come see her if you're in mass. I love this girl. How about you start seeing her again? She's the best. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so I just realized I never filmed after I left the hair salon, but it's the next morning, roots are fresh, we went a lot blonder, because we usually do like partial foils, but we went through and did like the whole head, so I'm just like much more full blonde, and brighter and better than ever. Can you see it a little better in this light? I feel like on camera it doesn't look as blonde, but it's 
super blonde. Stop so today's Wednesday, I'm going to film a different video with Nikki again because I want to stop moving the camera. Her lips are blue. Her lips are fucking purple. I tried lots of beauty treatments with you guys and start this series on my channel. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll meet up with you guys and we'll hang out. Okay, you guys can see the blonde a little bit better. Yes. I actually am at the exact two week mark on my nails. My God, who gets their nails done every two weeks? It's at least three to four weeks. You don't have to get them done every two weeks. But then again, she can afford to, so. so I think I'll actually go get my nails done first. I have a little time before I go see Nikki. I can't decide I, I if I- I personally find it really annoying. I don't think there's enough regrowth in two weeks. And my nails grow fast too, but in two weeks, to me, there's just not enough regrowth there. I want to go back to French <laughs> white or like a French ombre that they do with the powder where it like fades together. Let's go see what we choose. So today with Nikki, when this vlogs up, that video will already be up, so maybe you've already seen it, but she does dermaplaning, um, and I've been doing dermaplaning at home. I both have the Derma Flash, which I've tried. It's essentially like the little face razors, and it vibrates, and I personally don't think it's any better than just using like a face razor, and I think it's pretty expensive. So it's actually, I'm kind of curious, is getting professional dermaplaning different because i've done it th like three ways now i've done it with just the little tinkle razors just a plain face razor that you get the peach fuzz off and i've done it with feel like i can never but i want to try doing it professionally and seeing if it's different because she told me it's like a medical use a fucking tissue medical grade scalpel scalpel <laughs> it's like basically what they use in surgery and you can get like all that hair off and i don't know i'm just kind of curious if i'll notice a difference so i'm going to kind of compare God, this is the fourth time she's rubbed her nose. Do some other fun beauty treatments. So I thought it'd be a fun video because I'm doing like that beauty series on my channel now. So, all right, let's go get our nails done. About six, seven, okay, eight times. We'll see what I choose. I have no idea. And don't you just love that? She's had her hands all up her nose. And this poor lady doing her freaking nails has grabbed her hand and touched it and it's been all over her nose. All right, nails are done. So I got the French dip powder on my natural nails and I really love the way oh it came God, out. she takes her eyes off the road for so long. I need a little cute Show us later. But she did such a good job. Like the shape. For the love of Woo! God. She did that. She did that. So I got myself a little treat. So I get this. <sighs> She's got herself a little treat. Rubbing her nose again. Every year. It's my favorite thing. Dunkin Donuts comes out with it every Valentine's Day. And it's their brownie batter um, <laughs> donut. And it's amazing. I get it every year that they've had it. I don't know. It's been like a few years now, but I treat myself every year. My ass. She only bought one. This donut, and I can't wait to get the comments about how I'm a fat pig eating my donut. I didn't say that. I just said my ass. You only got one. In fact, let's have a look. cuticle oil but she did such a good job like this shape Woo! she did that she did that so i got myself a little treat so i get this every year it's my favorite thing dungan donuts comes out with it every valentine's day and it's their brownie batter um <laughs> It sounds so sweet. Brownie better. Donut. And it's amazing. I get it every year that they've had it. I don't know. If it's been like a few years now, but I treat myself every year to this donut. And I can't. She is one donut a year, guys. She treats herself to it one day a year. One day a year. All, all the other donuts that she walks past, she never touches. Wait to get the comments about how I'm a fat pig eating my donut. I'm a normal person, and I eat with balance, and yep. I feel good about it. It shows. <laughs> yep. It really shows that you eat with balance. Oh, seriously, she thinks we are so fucking stupid. She has the nerve to say she eats with balance. balance. Look I feel at the, the size of you. Look at the size of you, and you eat with balance. It's not the easiest I have in a long time. And I'm not going to justify eating a donut anymore. I'm going to get my donut. Should but you are. I'm a normal I get it every year. But they've had it. I don't know. It's been like a few years now, but I treat myself every year to this donut, and I can't wait to get the comments about how I'm a fat pig eating my donut. I'm a normal person, and I eat with balance, and I feel good about that. I feel the happiest and healthiest I had in a long time, and I'm not going to justify eating a donut anymore. I'm going to get my donut. 
she feels the best she has in a long time guys look at her she looks like miss piggy there she's saying and this is before gastric bypass i just don't believe it delusional delusional good donut you guys have to try it it's so good okay so it's much later in the day now i just went to she my really can be a nasty piece of work she was so nasty. She sometimes cannot ha really hide her nasty side. From my planning, I came home and edited that video because it's going to go up tomorrow. And then I am now here picking up yarn from the train station. Sometimes I just drop him at the train station because he can Hey, Alex. I can't stop looking at my nails. Like, they don't even look real. The new place I go is so good. So good, so good. Wow. Like, they're doing, like, just eggs. <laughs> And I also picked up the computer. I don't think I told you guys we that he's so freeze and or has a basketball game tonight. Yeah, chew like a cow a bit more. Just a little bit more, chew like a cow. Self care. <laughs> um Look at her. it's been a stressful week, so yeah, I think we do like a face mask. I just got a new one from Laneige and new Shane Dawson video. Basketball game tonight, so I think I'm gonna do a little self care. Self care. <laughs> um it's been a stressful week, so yeah, I think we do like a face It's been a stressful <laughs> It's been a stressful week. She's been vlogging all week. It's been a stressful week, guys. Face mask. I just got a new one from Laneige and new Shane Dawson video. Oh, I'm fucking cow. Okay, so it's the next morning after doing dermaplaning. Don't mind me. Like, it's still early. But I just put on my foundation. I have not set or anything else, no concealer, nothing. But I just put on my foundation and I wanted to show you guys how good my skin looks with foundation on. So, why didn't you do it again? And after dermaplaning with no peach fuzz and that top layer of dead skin off if you guys haven't watched that video yet please do because it's amazing and it's really satisfying to watch there a huge difference putting on foundation and here's what my makeup looks like all finished i feel like it just looks super glowy and fresh and the makeup is sitting so nicely on it because there's no hair at all it's the same when you use those roses it's the fucking same thing I'm officially obsessed with dermaplaning. Yeah. Also, I feel yeah, like that's why you had it done again. My, I can't tell if they're like a little messy, but like I think my lashes look pretty good. This mascara, oh, I put it away. It's the Lancome Big Monsieur, and it is like really, really good. I've been loving that mascara, and then the Lancome Hypnose Drama. And I think that's what we do. So I'll show you guys. I'm lashless. All right, I have a few appointments today that I have to go to. All right, so Lily and I just had dinner. Now we're at Target on a Friday night because that's what we do. So I'll show you guys what's going on at the I have never seen anyone that visits Target so much in my whole entire life. I mean, I like Target too, um, but my God, she doesn't even give them time to restock their shelves with something new. She goes every single day, almost. RJ, that one better? <gasps> Look at that. Wow. Ooh, wow. Cashmere Plum. Oh, she's nice. I like her. That's good. So sparkly. What did you say this was? What did you just say? Mercury? What? <laughs> it looks like Mercury. She is so dumb. She can't even tell that what she meant by, by Lily saying it looks like Mercury. She doesn't know Mercury is silver like that. Or gray, gunmetal gray color. Is that like a crystal? <gasps> she has no idea what Mercury is. Is that like a crystal? Oh my god. Like glass. Ah, like the broken looking glass? Yeah, and like usually like shiny. I don't know. Well, I like that you knew that. I she that. has no idea. Because <laughs> I did not know. She does not cute? know what Mercury is. Very springy. Oh, you need that. That's so you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Girl, you are talking with me. What do you What do you think I'm going to say? Oh my god. But like, don't you think I maybe need like a random jar full of fake lemons? <laughs> so, what I'm doing is... She's such a sad guy. Such a fucking sad case. My original boyfriend. I'm gonna send, <laughs> I'm gonna send her a little Galentine's package down to Disney. So I already got her a couple things at home. I'm just gonna get her a couple other cute little Valentine's things. Things she can use while she's down there. Her face is eating her mouth up. And she she, she had the nerve to eat that donut in the car and tell us that she's living her best life and she she feels the best she's ever felt. And then a few months later, she goes and has a gastric sleeve because she just wasn't feeling good. I wasn't feeling good, guys. You guys didn't know she's in the Disney College? Hypocrite. Liar. ...program right now. She's thriving. Lily's trying to find a card for her boyfriend's birthday. It should not be so hard. <laughs> no, I spend like 30 minutes looking at cards usually. It actually provides a lot of anxiety for me. He has like a weird sense of humor. And I'm like, one of these like... <laughs> 
poop joke. A poop I'm joke. Oh, you're not in the right section. You're in like the like the, I'm in the hipster section cards. I like. Exactly. Come I'm on. Thank you for me. Come right on. We need, to, <laughs> we need to go to the funny section. Find him something about poop. Just doing a quick sweep of the plus here. They have some really cute straight leg high waist shoes. Pick up some base. Horrible, horrible. I can button it with my arms. I mean, it's on sale for 15 dollars. Funniest thing ever. Lily walks around the corner, and I'm like <laughs> about to put another makeup. Look at the Sherpa top she's got in her car. Uh, in her car. In her trolley. Push in the car, and then she goes. All right, so this is my mandatory, my eyebrow pencil, and then this is my splurge this week. It's you my can't even hear her. I always thought you just used. This trip went well. It's fair. Hello. <laughs> what do we want to name him? Oh my god. She's a child, guys. I've never ever in my life liked stuffed animals and stuffed toys like that. I, I mean, I'm not a Grinch. Please don't think I'm, you know, a sour puss. But I just never liked... They've never done anything for me. Even as a child, I was like, what, what is this? And chuck it away. <sighs> I don't know. What do you look like to me? It was fifteen dollars, and I always look at these big bears. I don't give a shit if it was one dollar. I wouldn't have bought it. And like, when Yara's away at military stuff, I'm gonna sleep with this bear. Oh my god. We gotta hear that again. We have to hear this again. When Yara is out in military, she will have to sleep with that bear. <laughs> Hang on, let's hear it again. Um, from Target. Whew! Boy, the therapy. It's coming. Oh, no. I thought she's looking at it. What do you look like to me? It was $15, and I always look at these big bears, and like... When Yara's away at military stuff, I'm gonna sleep with this bear. Oh my god. How embarrassing. How humiliating. Oh my god, she has no shame. She even says it out loud. <laughs> you may judge me. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But it was $15. I've always wanted one. I don't give a shit. I picked up this thing. It was $15 and I really wanted one. She is such an entitled bitch. To mail something. Look at this cute rug. Or doormat. <laughs> it says, yay, oh you're here. God. Only $13. That's ugly. And $12. And the one I have out there now is from Christmas. <laughs> and it says, um, here comes Amazon. Here comes Amazon right down my driveway. Oh my God. So... I got our favorite laundry detergent as of late because yours clothes are stinky from working out and that stuff works really well. I got this Soap and Glory shower gel. Clean on me. I really like soap. I like they were ouch because my... If you have some brush clean here, this is tutorial soon and I'll use all these. Package. There's this cute little deodorant for like in her purse or her backpack because she's in flex. Like high waist trousers. Oh, they're kind of dusty. Uh, that Alexis gave me for Christmas. But other than that, I use yarn lid. So it has like a straw stuff to put in Gabby's up with dark spot storm. And it's great if you have like. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Um, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me ask you. Do you guys sleep with a stuffed toy when your husband's away? <laughs> I can't get over that. That is so fucking embarrassing to even admit to anyone. I appreciate Oh my god. Alright guys, this is gonna be the last one. I'm actually getting really tired. I've had a long week. As you guys know. Um, I just feel like the weight has been lifted on my shoulder with the good news today. And I have I'm struggling to keep my eyes open, but I wanna do another one. Let's do this. 
what you do for me like building things and kissing my forehead is she fucking serious what a nut job She's a fucking nut job. I'm telling you, she's not stable in the head. I appreciate what you do for me. Like building things and kissing my forehead. My God. Yep, that's exactly what I had where I had my hand at the moment. How much I am sweating right now. I just finished yeah. my at home workout for today. Um, you guys ask me about that a lot, and I do a lot of at home workouts. I love you. Yeah, you look like you're living your great life. You look like you're the healthiest you've ever been, just like you said in the video before. YouTube workouts. So today I did Zumba. I love Pop Sugar Fitness page on YouTube. They're really in the back. I'm modifying Zumba lately. I just get really. And you break a sweat without even thinking well, of see i think she actually did work out hard in this one because she's red here on the chest she's got a bit of sweat there i still look worse than that when i when i he's, go for my hour or hour and a half walk because i walk really fast about sweating and like i honestly like my arms feel kind of shaky like it's a good workout so if you're someone who gets bored and you like to work out at home i highly recommend zumba um i've done a lot on the pop sugar page like i said i've done a few other random ones but i easily and i'm keeping up calories and it feels really good after I'm gonna go take a shower. Uh, my underarms are stained from a black tea. Um, do you wash your underarms? That's disgusting. You meant to tell me when you took your t-shirt off and you put that on and you saw that it was black under your underarms, you kept it on? You, you actually left yourself like that without cleaning under your arms. That is fucking revolting. And number two, they are still black. Do you wear black every day? No. Get your diabetes checked. Fast neutralizing, shine boosting, and deep conditioning. And I got the shade Winter Wheat Light Neutral Blonde. So. As you can see the before and after, it basically helps get out some of the brassiness that comes naturally with time after you get your It's a toner, is what it is. It's not that difficult. Hair done. As you can see, it's pretty brassy right now. I just feel like it's kind of dull. It's lost its kind of tone. I think I have like bad water where I live, um, my hairstylist said, but this is gonna help to get out some of the brassiness and get me back to where it looks like when I first get it done. I hate her lips i absolutely hate them with a passion so wet hair in the shower mix bottles one and two apply all over wait 10 to 20 minutes rinse thoroughly shampoo and condition so here's the before let's see how it goes <laughs> all right guys oh i'm checking in oh i've been working all day this is different lighting so it's going to completely look different it looks nice but it's different lighting it Look more orangey, white orangey on the other one. <clears throat> Filming and editing and answering emails. I'm tired. It's four o'clock now. She's tired. She's been answering emails all day. Oh, I didn't show you guys my hair. I think it made a difference. I don't think it's like a huge cuckoo difference that you could get at like a hair salon, but I definitely feel like it's less yellow, right? What do we think? I think it is. I feel like I could definitely like do it one more time. I did leave it in for 20 minutes. It said 10 to 20, so I did the full 20. But my hair was pretty brassy. It does, it looks good. So, I don't know. I think it looks better though. So, anyway, I'm just checking in. Um, I'm gonna take a break from working and chill out for a little bit because my head hurts. All right guys, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a little Whole Foods haul. I did place an order while I was working so I could make dinner tonight for Yara and me. So I also got these pants at Target. No. They are the comfiest pants. For the love of Jesus, no. Oops, sorry. Pants, if I can find them, I'll link them. They are so cozy. So I already started unpacking oh things when I was like, God. I should probably just vlog this. I got a bunch of oranges. I got pita chips. They should be hummus here too. I got some naan bread. I love naan and pita chips with hummus for a snack or a meal. I got Rao's homemade sauce. I think I'm you know, I can't get over that. It's so easy to make your own homemade pasta sauce. 
and she keeps buying Rayos. Not only Rayos, she buys other brands. I have never in my life bought a tomato sauce. You just cook your own. It is easy. And there's nothing nicer than fresh tomato sauce. Not out of the bloody bottle or can. I'm going to make spaghetti tomorrow night. I love cooking. Like, yeah, like you love cooking. That's what. That's why you just showed us your, your pre-made sauce. So much you love cooking. I've slowly learned to love cooking over the years, but like lately I love to cook. Yeah. We just have a tomato. I got this little... Who the fuck goes shopping and buys one tomato? Who buys one tomato? A baguette for spaghetti meatballs tomorrow. I got yar, some bagels. Yeah, she's not going to have any. They're just for yarn. Got whole wheat spaghetti for the spaghetti meatballs. I got chicken broth. I think it is this the same as stock? I don't know. I use this to make risotto tonight. I'm yes, it is the same, dummy. I'm gonna do chicken breast, risotto, and green beans. I ordered this pasta sauce as well. I might mix them. One's four cheese, one's marinara. And lastly, cream cheese. I got some turkey breast for sandwiches or like a little roll up for a snack or lunch. We have meatballs i never tried whole foods meatballs we'll see how they are oh my god she actually even bought the meatballs and she just finished saying that she loves to cook do your own homemade meatballs oh my god how freaking lazy is she she actually bought them i got green beans she thinks putting pasta in the water is cooking and the chicken. So we love this chicken from Whole Foods. Garlic Parmesan panko crusted chicken breast. So, so good. I got Parmesan cheese for my risotto. And then here is my hummus. So that's all I grabbed. I got these at Target the other day. I think for Valentine's Day. Te amo and te quiero. And I'm trying to learn Spanish. Yarman speaks Spanish. Are you still trying? <laughs> Ooh, so pretty good. So I'm gonna put this away and Yarman's on his way home so I'll probably start making dinner soon. Yeah because you've been tracking him. I've made my risotto a million times on camera so I won't bore you with it but it's super easy. Got the green beans going. Risotto is done. Chicken breast. Yum. Okay guys so I am now waiting for my mom to get here. I get a lot of questions about this little camera. So this is the Osmo Pocket. It shoots 4K60 and it's like, it's very smooth because this has like this little moving stabilizer. It's amazing. So um, Yarman and I are like obsessed with it. It works really well. So my mom is coming out today. We are going to watch The Bachelor. Why is your arm up? Grab lunch. I think she's bringing Maxi so we can see my little brother. Mm. Ready, set, go. Oh my god, oh, gosh, Mark, you Max was still a baby. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh my god. Oh, he's I so know cute. that's so big. He is so dang cute. Oh, I'm distracting him. <laughs> oh Hi. my god, I just love that dog. Baby. Hi. Oh, so gorgeous. Oh, yes. Woo. What? Does this have goo inside it though? Well, his teeth, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you got my bracelet. You got my bracelet. <laughs> do, you, do you like this a lot? No, you can use that. I don't have that phone anymore. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm going to play catch with this now. Oh, Watch. he's so cute. Oh my god, his little prance. Oh, oh my yes. god, he's so <laughs> adorable. Come here, you little bugger. Maxie. Come here, you little bugger. <laughs> Oh, he's so spoiled. Hey, hey, come on. No, you're the one that's spoiled. Come on. No. Oh, no. No. How dare you run in the other Babe, can you hear me? No. I'm surprising Yarman with some special merch. <laughs> oh, my God. You have got to be kidding me with some special merch. Did she actually think people were going to buy this? Can you imagine walking the street with that? <laughs> I'm thinking, what the fuck? 
Oh my god, don't tell me she actually thought her subscribers were gonna buy this. So at the end of every vlog, Miss Yarmit would go thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. So I decided to make merch. Oh just... my god, what a oh, what an idiot. Okay. I don't remember this at all. He's gonna come downstairs soon. He doesn't, he doesn't know we're wearing it. <laughs> Hello. What is this? <laughs> it's your very own merch. Oh my god. Thumbs up, baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey. Okay, <laughs> what do you say, babe? <laughs> he probably hey. never wore it again after that. God. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what do you say, babe? <laughs> Hey guys, I'm so sleepy right now. I can't even talk properly. Um, it's pretty early because today is Wednesday. Gab Look at her face. She's not even taken off last night's makeup. Abby leaves on her eyes today for Disney. We're gonna be going out to breakfast before she leaves. So she's actually driving to Florida with her mom because her she wants to have her car while she's down there. So they're leaving this afternoon. And yeah, Gab's gonna be gone for at least five months. She might extend after that. We're only gonna see her when I get to go down and visit her. So it's definitely like a weird emotional feeling. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm really happy for her. Like she deserves this so, so much. She loves Disney. Like I think God really gave her this because she deserves it. And she deserves this time for herself and to like thrive. And I would love to know what happened. I would just love to know what happened between them two. Be happy. I don't know. I don't know if we're both going to cry today or how we're going to handle this. But I got her um, a cute little Mickey card. And then I got her these earrings. They're just like little silver stud Mickey earrings. They're very Gabby. So I'm going to give her those. I honestly don't know if she'll want to be on camera today. Um, I know she's very anxious about this. And like, she's excited, but she's anxious about you know, going away for the first time for so long and leaving her life and... Use a fucking tissue. Um, you keep everything else in your car and snacks. How about tissues? The fear of the unknown, but I, yeah, I don't know if she's going to want to be on camera, but we're going to go spend some time together. I'm just like pushing it down. <laughs> hey everyone, this is so weird now because I'm like getting ready to say goodbye it's a morning it is a morning she was supposed to leave tonight now she's leaving in like an hour <laughs> things have changed <laughs> now we're gonna be sending her off <laughs> yeah her and mama so it's about 10 45 right now and we went out for breakfast and we ran to marion's and now i'm going home to pack my car and to leave and i won't see her for a long time long time well i'm gonna come visit you in like in probably like a month realistically yeah but like just i don't know like, it's a long time it's still too long it might not and you never know life happens yeah so yep and life did happen didn't it gabby yeah all right we're taking a picture of gabby the car is fully packed i don't know how but gabby's mom is a wizard wow she was a lot slimmer than gabby <laughs> and it's perfectly I'm fit hi yay gabby you should send updates for the vlog oh yeah send oh yeah all right so we just said goodbye to gabby um i got in the car and literally started crying i feel like i'm gonna cry right now it's um a weird feeling to know I'm not gonna be able to see her for a very long time and I'm gonna miss her isn't that amazing some shit must have gone down I'm gonna miss her a lot um but I'm really happy for her like I'm genuinely super happy for her oh I'm such a little bitch right now Ooh, I'm gonna get my period like in any second but um yeah I'm happy for her <sighs> she deserves look at her purple lips she deserves this so much all right, so I'm gonna try to like be a big girl <laughs> and I'm gonna go get my nails done. And um, yeah, hopefully Gabby said she might send us video updates so we could always put them in <laughs> the vlog. Oh my God, I need to stop crying. All right, so I'm home now. I am going to do a huge mission today and take down all the Christmas stuff, take down the tree. I have not taken it, so I'm gonna- All this is down. The tree's down. Look at the snow. It looks like a snow globe. Oh, that looks beautiful. It's only going to snow for like an hour, but it's so pretty. I hope it translates. I would just sit at the window watching that. My And I love summer, but I, I do love snow. I would sit at the window watching that. Camera. 
This is clean, back to the old look. That's taken down, flowers swapped. It's nice and clean. Okay, but like- Oh I'm my not... god, that house just has so much more character than the one she has now. Actually tired. <laughs> so much more warmth. That just took me like three hours. But everything's gone down to the basement and everything's clean. And actually, it feels fresh in here. It feels good. It just feels nice having it like fresh, clean. I love that house. Like even though I miss Christmas already. I ended up leaving that wreath because it matches the decor in here, but I put back my old garland, my everyday garland. And then I left these pine cones my mom gave me. I'll leave them out in the winter. They light up and flicker. So I want to show you guys something that I ordered from The Real Real. So I've had my eye on this Louis Vuitton wallet for the last few months. I have no desire for Louis Vuitton. I actually really hate that brand. I find nothing nice about it. I hate the design. Um, I find them very common. I don't mind some label things, but I hate Louis Vuitton. Please comment below if you're with me. Um, I'll show you guys. So my wallet now is super cute. It's from Coach. Looks like this, but it's like a summer wallet to me. So the other day I got an Who has a fucking summer wallet and a winter wallet? You just have a wallet email from the real real saying they were doing um a percentage of all purchases to the australian wildfires for donation so i was like this is a great time we don't need your donation we're, we're doing quite fine with the australian fires back then <laughs> to buy it so i did actually already donate to a bunch of australian um support systems mostly sure the red cross so sad like my heart can't take it i'm feeling yeah. very emotional today <laughs> Oh. Like, I feel like I could just cry at the drop of a pin. Um, but anyway, I want to show you guys the wallet I got. And it's called the Alexandra. That's why she bought it, guys. Because she had to donate for us. Not not because she wanted to buy a Louis Vuitton wallet. And that was just the thing that was going. With every purchase, you, it automatically donated to the Australian fire. So I thought it was perfect. It looks like this. Oh. It's a lot bigger than my other wallet. It is so ugly. What? But I kind of like that. It's more. One. And I don't have anything Louis with... The kind of checkered pattern it has a nice big coin oh my slot. god it is so ugly a bunch of card slots on the side your cash goes in the back but i love how big it is it also has a little pocket over here i think this will be a great fall and winter wallet i mean any season really but i'm gonna save this bad boy for the summer and it's literally like perfect oh, she's condition a nutcase. seriously she is a fucking nutcase who has a summer and a winter wallet like it looks like it's a handbag maybe but a fucking summer winter wallet never been used I mean, even um, handbags, so really, really. Handbags you can wear all year round. Which they're, they're not seasonal. Wanting to buy, but it just felt like a good time to buy it. I don't know. Anything to help in any way, I guess. But if yeah, you guys sure. can do anything. Sure. Any way to help. Sure. To donate to the Australian wildfires, um, I'll leave a link down below for the website that I found with a bunch of re reliable resources and links to donate. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. <laughs> she's out of breath, just talking. She's not gonna lie, she's tired, but it's, this is the best she's felt. I'm gonna go chill out for a little. All right, guys, I'm about to cook us some dinner. We're in green. Hi. Back to it. That's waste. Sliced green pepper. Also, I just got hit with the crazy fact that the average trip to the grocery store takes 41 minutes, and that's 35 hours a year if you go. She fucking serious? Four minutes on each side. Perfect for tostadas. So now we can put this on top. Hello, first videos are watching. All right, I smell so good. Hey guys, today is now Thursday. Put your arm fucking down. And I'm just getting my day going. This morning I got up, did Zumba, took a body shower. I, I do love that lipstick. I love it when she says I took a body shower. Just say so you took like a shower. My hair, that's just the dang truth. I'm also definitely wearing foundation that's too dark. Great. Yes, so today I just have a little bit of work to do, but now I'm going to run over to my grandma's house. No fucking idea. How would you go out like that? It's totally different to your neck. With my cousin, and we're going to help her take down her tree. And it's cold today. I looked, it's 17 degrees. I got this coat from Uniqlo in the men's section, and I love it. It's like a really oversized, comfy bomber. Well, it's not really like a bomber, but it's just like... It's got really nice long sleeves to it. I Does love it this do color. Oh. I'll try to link it. Oh, that looks horrible on her. I remember. Oh my god. Look how she always has to. She thinks she has the hottest ass. And she doesn't. She always has to have that bit up and that bit down. She's always got to show her backside. What the 
fuck is it with her? She is fucking delusional. So delusional. Body dysmorphia, all right, but in the opposite way. She actually thinks she looks good. Looks horrible. Please, God, am I being mean or does she just, does it just look horrible? Do we want to do you want to pass it? Sure. <laughs> oh my god! Oh wait, take those doopy dops, he wraps those. I really love where her grandmother lives. So it's a very, I'm trying not to say that word that starts with a C that she always says. She turned me off that word. Um, it's, it's really, really sweet. Oh, Cherie. Cute. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm super excited because I got wild strawberry. And then these are called Archer's The Gut. You know how this is. Maybe we'll try this later. Everyone is raving. Everybody's looking forward to the so I am heading to Walmart right now because I'm on a hunt for this chocolate. I want to make Yarmin It's for Yarmin guys, not for her. She's not having any of it. It's for Yarmin. Um uh, this special chocolate that his grandma used to make for him. And when I was at Christmas Eve with their family, um his cousin Rosie told me how to make it and I put it in my phone in my notes so i'm gonna try to make it and it's with like this special chocolate called abuelita chocolate it's like tablets and i need cinnamon sticks and i think that's all i need for it so this morning we recorded the podcast the podcast is back tomorrow when this vlog goes up i have a podcast the fearless podcast with me and mama fearless it goes up every single monday um and we just took off a few weeks after season one we're doing 10 episodes per season um and we're back with season two tomorrow and we have a youtube channel it's linked down below uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited the podcast is back. We had Max there today. It's nice having a podcast. It's such a dreary day. Yarmin has been doing, you haven't seen him much in this vlog, I don't think, because he's been at military training all week. So hard. Bless his heart. So, wish me luck. Finding the abuelita chocolate. Okay, but like these pants are hella cute. She's looking for chocolate. She ends up looking at plant. They're not cute. They're fucking disgusting. Fourteen ninety-seven. are you kidding horrible. me? Yo, <laughs> that is a yes oh. from me, Tara and Sky. I've seen them online. She is so easily pleased. But never in store. Ooh. Cool. Yay. I found it. Oh, this is heavy. Cool. Why did she just right there? Never made it. Hang on. I've got to slow mo this. Let's see what she said. Ooh. Cool. Yay. I found it. Ooh. This is heavy. Cool. Never made it. LOL next week. Yes. <laughs> he makes me laugh. I want to show them how it comes out. How what comes out? This. Oh. So. Yeah, we've been wanting a bookcase for the longest time, so <laughs> I'm really excited to set this up. For, what's <laughs> You're not excited now. You're like, but I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Reading off of subtitles, I'm really excited to set this up. <laughs> is this the last? This is like the 10th piece of furniture I've set You up. have assembled a lot of furniture here. Yeah. Okay. It's tall and white. It was cheap from Walmart, but it's Better Homes and Gardens. It's Better what? Better. Maybe not those. KitchenAid mixer. Kitchenware. Kitchen. Wear, kitchen. <laughs> the KitchenAid. Kitchen I, I should know because I got this for you, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for those cookies. Yay. Let's go use the KitchenAid mixer, y'all. Oh, my God. The KitchenAid mixer that she doesn't know how to close properly when she uses it. To the loo, motherfucker. Wow. Wow. <laughs> God, see, even he said that. 
Even he said, wow, she called him a motherfucker again. Yay! Let's go use the kitchen aid mixer, y'all. To the loo, motherfucker. To the loo. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you did not text me goodnight last night. I didn't? I did. Oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, 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 y